people are holding in different uh, levels uh, of their life and spiritually, and um, everyone I assume has uh, someone they turn to. I hope. I mean, I you know I do, and they turn. Not everybody has. They should. Okay, okay. They should. But not everybody has. It's actually a difficult thing to find. I agree. Yeah. It took me a little while, but I'm just so I'm just asking this question. If a person is on, they're up to a certain level in their spirituality. Let's say somebody enjoys going to a bowl game. Some people would say it's not a bowl, bowl game is not the best thing for religious reasons or uh, what, what's brought down in the Torah, maybe, or going to a movie or, uh, or, uh, or a concert or whatever it is. But is it better that a person should um, dress in a way that expresses Jewish pride, like wear a yarmulke, or, or a person should cover whatever they're doing, should they do it in a way that's proud of their Judaism when they're going to, into the movie theater? or going into the, ba the basketball or hockey arena, or better to put on a cap and uh, pretend like they're not really, uh, like, you know, they're not, they're not acting especially associated with Frumkite. Well, well, okay, well, so well, the question is when somebody is doing something that others would consider inappropriate, or perhaps are even subject uh, objectively inappropriate, Torah-wise, should they be wearing their yarmulkes when they go to, the, uh, to a ball game? which there might be nothing wrong with, or wearing the yarmulke when they go to a movie, which one could say the Torah would forbid. Um, yes? <laughs> okay, so the question is... How about Strymel also? He yeah, wears Strymel when he goes to, to shul, he wears, a, he wears a black yarmulke when he goes to a ball game, he wears a kippah through God when he goes to the movie. So that's, yeah, or the other way around. And when he goes to, we won't say what he wears when he goes to Atlantic City. Question is, what should he, should one... So, my question, what was the beginning of your comments to the end of it? You said, everybody has to have a, a, a mentor, somebody, how did that connect with... It doesn't have anything to do with it. I was trying to get to it based on, just saying everyone is in a different place spiritually, and they know themselves, they need out of it. Some people really get a real, they can breathe a big sigh of relief. I've met people who, they say they go to a Broadway show, Well, I, th I think yeah. that what Rabbi Biderman said before is really uh, the answer. It depends if it's a place that's not against Torah uh, law. So then it's just a place to relax. You go to a, a game, a basketball game, whatever. So you should wear a yarmulke. There's nothing uh, against it in Torah against going to a game. If you're talking about going to a movie, which is very, uh, uh, th th these days, uh, full of uh, things that a person should not be uh, observing, so that's not a place for a Jewish person to be, and therefore they should not wear a yarmulke in a place like that. They should wear a cap. Oh, like oh, oh, yeah, if he has not better not wear anything. If, if, if a cap is better, but, uh, but, but uh, if he has with nothing at all, better with nothing at all, then you go to a yarmulke into a, a movie that's uh, rated in something inappropriate for, for, for Torah consumption. Okay. Oh. Right. Do not wear your Torah mates cap to the movies. Okay. Unless you can get up and scream and yell against it, that's a different story. Don't